And all this time we've been fighting with this atherosclerosis. And this clogs the artery and diminishes blood flow. But one of the main problems with atherosclerosis is there will become an ulceration of the endothelial lining. The endothelium that lays against the atherosclerotic plaque, it's not healthy and it'll break away. And when it breaks away, that ulceration will lead to a blood clot. Chemo, blood stasis, to stop hemostasis this is the formation of a blood clot. So the formation of a blood clot, it's also known as a thrombus. A thrombus and a blood clot are the same thing. It's a normal part of the body's self-healing processes. Believe it or not, you're constantly leaking from the delicate microscopic blood vessels all the time. And the hemostatic system is constantly plugging these leaks with thrombus, a little blood clot. Well, not only is the hemostatic system constantly plugging the little leaks with thrombus, uh, the hemostatic system is also dissolving those clots afterwards. When you leak from a little place, your body likes to put a little clot in there, a little plug, a hemostatic plug, a thrombus, a blood clot. And then after a little bit, uh, your body's fine and it, and it dissolves the clot. And so that's a normal process and we're going to talk about these processes when we talk about the drugs that affect blood clots, uh, thrombus. If our hemostatic system, if our blood clotting system was completely gone, we would leak everywhere. We would bleed to death everywhere instantly. So blood clot or thrombus formation will save our lives if a blood vessel is cut or ruptured. And when we have injury, we want our blood to clot and stop the bleeding. However, what we don't want is a thrombus that obstructs blood flow in critical vessels like our coronary arteries or the blood vessels going to our brain or blocking heart valves or other structures that are essential to normal hemodynamic function. Just for terminology, thrombus, thrombi, thrombosis. A thrombus is a blood clot. A thrombi are multiple blood clots. All right, somebody's showering thrombi. That means they're making lots of blood clots. Thrombosis is the pathologic presence of the blood clot in a vessel. Or maybe you'll hear the word embolus used. An embolus is anything that blocks a blood vessel. Like a thrombus, a thrombus can block a blood vessel. People who have injuries that cause breaking of big bones can break loose pieces of fat and bone marrow that block blood vessels. That's called a fat embolus. A pregnant woman can leak amniotic fluid into her blood supply, uh, causing an amniotic fluid embolus. Uh, air can end up in the vascular supply, uh, blocking blood vessels, causing an and that's called an air embolus. Embolus is singular, anything that blocks a blood vessel, including a blood clot. Emboli is the plural form of embolus, and embolism is the, quite simply the pathologic presence of the embolus in the blood vessel. We're going to talk about drugs that are used to treat uh, blood clots. Either we're going to either going to prevent them or dissolve them. In the case of myocardial infarction, heart attack, a stroke, acute ischemic stroke, deep vein thrombosis, the deep, are, are the deep veins in the legs and the arm can break loose and end up in the lungs causing pulmonary embolism. Or we can have any type of arterial occlusion in the legs. Uh, any type of arterial occlusion can be uh, caused by a blood clot and occlusion of indwelling catheters. For those of you who are nurses who are dealing with catheters, uh, we can use drugs to either prevent the occlusion of those or reverse it. We're going to talk about drugs that prevent blood clot formation, prevent thrombus formation. Drugs that prevent blood clot formation, they do not dissolve the clot. All right. And then we're going to talk about drugs that dissolve the thrombus, and those are called thrombolytics. If it dissolves the blood clot, it's thrombolytic.